let's define a point on the circle like this. You can see this light, the whole circle um, getting darker, right? Indicating that you're about to drop a point on it. So this is a point on the circle. So I can move the point around. It cannot go outside. No matter what I do, it's stuck on the circle. So that ensures that the, uh, we have a point on the circle. Now let's connect this point to this origin here. For the reason that you will see here, I will not use a ray. I will use the uh, line. That is, um, I will go indefinitely to both ends here. So I will go click and make sure that's selected. I cannot tell if it's selected, but click. I think it selects it. If it sticks, sticks to it, if it's nearby. Okay, so we got this. So now we are going to draw sine, cosine, tangent, and all the business here. Okay, I want you to realize that I actually don't need the grid because this is a unit circle, so I can make it as big as I want. You may say, what about these axes and all? But we don't need them. That's why we drew those uh, lines before. So I will hide them for now. View, axis. There we go. Okay, so now we got this here. We'll draw. What should we do? Let's do sine. Sine is projection on the y-axis. So how are we going to do this? Mm, we are going to draw projection on the y-axis. Projection is perpendicular. So what we are going to do is that we are going to draw a line that is perpendicular from this line to that point. Before I do that, let me make this um, line thinner first. So let's right click and then object property. And I want to make the line style to be thin. Or maybe I should just make it dashed like that. Okay, because uh, that's not part of my picture and I don't want to get in the way. I don't want it to get in the way. So I will go to style and I will make it the same style like that. Okay, so it makes clear that who's the boss and who's the uh, servant who will serve our purpose here. So we are going to do the uh, projection on this axis here. So we, we need per perpendicular line. So click here and choose perpendicular line. Perpendicular what to what, right? From this line to that point. Click. Here we go. We got it. Okay, but how, where is the sign? Sign is on the y-axis, so I'm going to go from here to there. So what I will do is I will mark the spot where those two meet. So I go to the point here, but I'll do the uh, intersect two objects. So by selecting that, and I will look for the point that will intersect those two. Notice I have vertical and horizontal line both highlighted and click. Now that point belongs to both. Let me show you what I mean. If I do this movement here, that point will up and down dance, but is stuck on this line here because it was a cross-section between, intersection between this and that. Okay, now I will draw a line segment. Okay, so here's the segment that will go from here to there. All right, that's my sign. So, what, so let's make it easier to see. The segment F is what I want here. And then I want to change the property of it. I want to make it a yeah, solid line, but I want it to be a thick, thick one, seven. Okay, and then what, what about the color? What color is sign in your mind? I would say it's red. Is it? I don't know. I, I, let's, let's make it a faint red then. Okay, so here we go. So that's the sign for us. Does it work? Let's see. So no matter what we do, it will tell us the sign of that angle that we have here. Okay, you can make the circle bigger to see it better. There we go. So we got the sign.